power. In many situations, the time it takes to do work is just as important as the amount of work that is done. Consider two automobiles that are identical in all aspects, except that one has a soap-up engine. The car with a soap-up engine can go from 0 to 27 meters per second in 4 seconds, while the other car requires 8 seconds to achieve the same speed. Each engine does work in accelerate, accelerating its car, but one does it more quickly. Work cars are connected. We associate the quicker performance with an engine that has a larger horsepower rating. A large horsepower rating means that the engine can do a large amount of work in a short time. In physics, the, work, the horsepower rating is just one way to measure an engine's ability to generate power. The idea of power incorporates both the concept of work and time. For power is work done per unit time. The average power is the average rate at which the work is done and it is obtained by dividing work by the time it requires to perform the work. We can also define average power as the rate at which energy is changing or as in the change in energy divided by the time during which the change occurs. So as an, as an alternative, expression for power can be also obtained by dividing the time to both sides of the equation work is equal to force times distance. And we got the average power is equal to force times the average speed. Since work, energy, and time are scalar, power is also a scalar quantity. The unit in which power express is that a work divided by time or a joule per second. So our unit per power is joule per seconds. One joule per second is equal to one watt. So in honor of James Watt, the developer of the steam engine, so the unit of power in British English is foot pound per second. This one is for SI and for British is foot pound per second. Although the familiar horsepower unit is used frequently for specifying the power generated by electric power. So another unit for power is horsepower or HP. And one horsepower is equal to 550 foot pound per second, which is also equal to 745. 7 watts. So remember this conversion of unit. So here is a table of measurements of power. So in SI, we have watts. For CGS, we have erg per seconds. And for British English, we have foot pound per second. 
Okay, so let's have an example problem. A car starting from rest accelerates in x direction. It has a mass of 1,100 kilograms and maintain an acceleration of 4.6 meter per second squared for 5 seconds. Assume that a single horizontal force accelerates the vehicle. Determine the average power generated by this force. So our given in this problem, we have the mass. of 1,100 kilograms. Acceleration the time and the initial speed which is zero. The problem is starting from rest. So we are looking for the average power. So how are we going to solve for the average power? Average power is equal to watt per time. I oh, sorry, not watt. Work per time which is also equal to work is equal to force times this displacement. So when we divide displacement over time, we have velocity. So average for the average power, we have force times the average velocity. The question is how we're going to get the, the average velocity. So average velocity is equal to the average of the um, initial speed and the final speed. So we can um, substitute the motion equation in based on the motion equation the first equation with this final velocity where in final velocity is equal to and this um, in the motion equation we have final velocity minus initial velocity is equal to acceleration times time so we use this Substitute this with the final velocity. So we have initial velocity plus acceleration times time. Therefore, initial average, uh, the average velocity is equal to one half times two initial speed plus acceleration over times time. Or simply, Initial velocity is equal, initial speed is equal to one half acceleration times time. Therefore, our power is equal now to force. And also force is equal to mass times acceleration. So we use this one. So force is now is equal to mass times acceleration times the average velocity, which is initial speed plus one half acceleration times time. So substitute the value, the given value, so we have 1,100 kilograms Okay, so after you solve this one using a calculator, we can now have our average power with 58 
kilowatts which is also equal with 78 horse power okay so let's proceed with your second understanding problem solve this problem and write your answer in the comment section